Hi, just a few days ago Epic Games released an early version of its latest installment of the Unreal Engine 5. In the recent years Unreal Engine has been gaining more and more recognition of architectural visualization branch, offering high-quality lighting of 3D scenes, great material editor, good post-processing and amazing speed. The previous version allowed the creation of architectural scenes that are fully interactive, Visualizers using UF4 can render animations in minutes instead of days. Of course, all this did not come without flaws. The preparation of this scene for the Unreal Engine requires more work and after importing, the lighting has to be baked, which can take several hours even on powerful computers. And each change in this scene requires another light baking. The output of Unreal Engine 4 is spectacular, but the workload is sometimes huge, so switching from a traditional software for visualization was not always sensible from an economic point of view. Over time, the creators of Unreal Engine improved the accessibility of their software. They created DataSmith, an automatic asset import system, facilitating the integration of scenes from 3ds Max or many other graphics programs. But only now, with the release of Unreal Engine 5, we can talk about real breakthrough. UE5 gives us a new global illumination system called Lumen. It does not require baking, it works in real time and it looks amazing. In addition, Unreal Engine introduced Nanite, which allows you to use millions of polygons in scenes. UE5 is natively integrated with Quixel Bridge Asset Browser and Library, which makes it a powerful tool for creating visualizations that we can render in real time. Unreal Engine 5 can be downloaded from the Epic Games Launcher in the UE5 tab. Once downloaded, it will appear in the library. Now you just need to run it. Here I am opening the first scene from the Evermotion Arc Interiors for Unreal Engine Wolf 4 collection. This scene can be purchased at Evermotion Store. The link is provided in the description of this video. You can also download it as a part of Evermotion Pass our new subscription service that allows you to download all Evermotion models and materials for a small monthly fee. It's worth checking out. The scene was originally created for Unreal Engine 4, but we will easily adapt it to work in Unreal Engine 5. Once we have downloaded and unpacked our scene, click the Browse button and open the scene from the local drive. Click Skip Conversion to save some time. The scene opens without problems. It's lit with static baked lighting. We want real-time lighting, so we need to make some changes. First click Update to adapt the scene settings to the latest engine version, it only takes a second. Now let's force non-computed lighting option in the World Settings tab, this way we will get rid of the static lighting. We click OK. So far nothing has changed because we need to rebuild the lighting. OK, now we got rid of global illumination. We can also remove all reflection capture spheres except for one. Lumen, the real-time global illumination system which is the part of Unreal Engine 5, will not need that many reflection capture spheres, so we will remove all but one. It's time to turn on the new global lighting. Go to post-processing volume and choose Lumen. And nothing is happening. This is because we do not have the Generate Mesh Distance Fields option turned on. Before we turn it on, let's change our light to dynamic. Lumen does not work with static and stationary lights. Now we'll generate mesh distance fields, which will get rid of that red message in the corner. We open project settings from the edit menu. We search for distance and select the appropriate option. We need to restart the project now. And here we are, Lumen is already working. We will also enable the option for Lumen to control reflections.
With this clock example, we can see what it looks like when lumen reflections are off and on. Now I have removed all reflection captures from the stage. For lumen reflections to work well, you need at least one reflection capture sphere. Here's how the glass will change when we add it. The excess reflections are gone and everything looks better. What do we get from using a lumen? For example, we can now easily change the intensity and color of the lighting of the scene. We do not need baking at all, everything works instantly. Another new feature is the integration of Quixel Bridge with Unreal Engine 5. It works very well as long as you can log in, which is sometimes problematic. But if you manage to log in, just select Quixel Bridge from the context menu and you are ready to go. I will choose this plastered brick floor. I downloaded it before, so I just click the Add button. We can see the message successfully imported one assets. Just open the content browser and drag and drop this imported material to the object. We can also import decals to slightly damage our wall. After importing, you need to rotate it. We want it to only affect the wall, not the wooden beams. To disable the influence of the decal on the beams, select them and search for the word decal. Then the Select Receives Decal option and we will do the same for the TV set. You can play endlessly with the new engine, it's a very powerful tool, so it's the best to just experiment, have fun.